But we start with a developing story tonight. A Weld County inmate escapes a medical exam, steals a deputy's gun, eventually killing himself as the SWAT team goes after him. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger live in Greeley where it all happened. Marshall, you're asking how the inmate could grab a gun and just take off. I found out that when inmates are brought to the North Colorado Medical Center, they're supposed to be in handcuffs and shackles. Deputies tonight would not say if this inmate was cuffed when he stole a gun, ran out of the hospital, came across the street here, went into a house, and briefly took a hostage. All of a sudden, somebody knocks on the door, and I looked out those blinds, and I saw this guy jump over that flower box there. Shirley Betts was on her recliner when this man, 32-year-old Raul Alanez, showed up on her porch, then took off just as fast. Pretty soon I got this call that everybody should lock their doors and windows and not go outside. Alanez had just escaped custody across the street at the North Colorado Medical Center. A deputy brought him in after he complained about blood in his urine. We assaulted the deputy, took his gun, and then fled. A second deputy coming to take over for the first saw Alanez in the hallway. He already had, his, had that gun out. That deputy wasn't able to draw her gun. Um, and he just continued fleeing. Alanis tried to carjack someone outside. When that failed, he went inside a home across the street. As SWAT teams surrounded the home, they learned there was a hostage inside. SWAT team went up to that residence, got the hostage out, and they heard several gunshots. Alanis killed himself. 7 News uncovering his criminal record dates back to 1997 with time in prison for robbery and possessing a weapon. While he was at the hospital, he was supposed to be in court, facing previous charges of assaulting a police officer. I'm just glad my door was shut because he'd have probably been in my house if I hadn't had that door locked. The reason there's still so much activity here, deputies had to wait for a search warrant to even go into the house after the shooting took place. As for the deputy who had his gun stolen, I found out he had been with the jail for nearly a year. He's now on routine administrative leave. I also found out that the inmate was walked into the medical center just like anybody else would. And in Boulder, we found out that treatments are done after hours. And in Denver, Denver Health, uh, there's a special facility for inmates. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. Now, this isn't the first time an inmate has escaped custody in recent months. Back in October, a Jefferson County prisoner was killed while trying to escape custody. The shooting happened in the lobby of a doctor's office.